Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Common YouTube channel. In this video, we will be continuation to Karate Framework playlist. In the last video, we learned to generate random data using Data Faker Library in Karate Framework. But whatever approach we learn, that is not optimal. We imported Faker class in our feature file. And then we created an object of that faker class and then we are able to call the methods of it. Here we are not going to get any auto sessions of those methods from that class, which is a pain. And every time you cannot create a new class and copy the syntax from there to here. That is not a good way, but there is a better way. And that better way, you can understand it from the existing scenario, whatever we have written. If you see here, we are just importing one Java class and then we are calling the methods of it. Same thing, if we can import any existing Java class, here then why we cannot create our own java class and call the methods from there directly i'm going to create a new package and i will name it as like utils i will add a new class since this is a java class here we can import any class we can write any java code here and i will get all the auto sessions and i can run it locally and i can check whether my methods are working fine or not so let me quickly create some method to generate random data let me write a method to generate some random integer i will create these methods as static because so these are utility methods and I will always prefer to have those methods as static. So public static, let me put the size. So let me create an object of faker class. And here I will use the return statement faker dot number dot digits and I can pass the size. Similarly, I will write a method to get the random full name. Again, it will be static a string create an object of faker class again then return faker dot name dot full name here if you see we are creating the object of faker class again and again so what we can do we can remove it from here and we can create it globally and make this variable as static so we can use it here now i will call this class in my feature file let me duplicate this scenario I will update the description. So to import the faker class, we pass the faker class name with the package name. Same way we need to do for my this random data generator class. This is my package and this is my class name. Since we have all the methods in my random data generator class as static, so there's no need to create any object of it. So I will remove this statement. And here I can call the methods directly data faker dot we can call this method get random integer and I can pass the size I will same way I can generate the random name time so I need to call this method and here I need to pass the variables it will run this scenario quickly so here you can see it is giving some randomly generated ID and name. So this is the way we can call any Java class in Karate feature file. And this opens a lot of opportunity to integrate with any Java library you want and you can call their methods here. So that's all in this video. If you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.